Hello and welcome to Oracle Fusion Cloud Release 13 training for procurement. This video is for understanding the setups related to supplier registration and change request approvals. For setups related to supplier approval, we we'll log into setup user, click on setup and maintenance icon, select procurement offering. Approval Management, here we have various approvals available, Manage Internal Supplier Registration Approval. Within the organization, if anyone requests for a supplier, it will require an approval and we can design that workflow using Manage Internal Supplier Registration Approval. Now, if supplier is registering themselves with the buying organization, we can use Manage Supplier Registration Approval to set up that approval workflow. When we approve any supplier using internal supplier registration approvals, the supplier will still remain a prospective supplier. So in order to approve that supplier, we will need to design another workflow using spend authorized approval. Supplier Profile Change Approval When supplier changes their profile and we want to approve that request, we use Supplier Profile Change Approval. In Release 13, there are a lot of new attributes available for Supplier Profile Change Approval. In Release 12, we don't have those attributes right now. We can start with the Internal Supplier Registration Approval. When we open this task for the first time, the system will ask us whether you want to implement this task or not. When you click Yes, it will automatically enable all the stages for us. We have two different stages here. When we use first stage approval with the part with the parallel approval first responder bin, we can design an approval workflow where system will be able to send notifications to multiple users. And if one of that user approves it, the request will get approved and it will go to the next next stage. In parallel approval, a lot of people will get notification and everybody has to approve in order to send the notification to the next level. And in serial approval, people will receive an approval one by one and they have to approve it in order to send the notification to the next level. Also, second stage has the same approvals, first responder win, parallel approval and serial approval. In case we don't want to use other approvers, we can just disable them for now. Okay. Now I have a requirement where an organization buyer wants to approve internal supply registration request, which is raised by a requester. So we'll click on edit rules. We'll delete the seeded rule. Add new rule. If I click rule always applies, it will not ask me to add any condition here. So that rules will automatically apply in all kind of conditions and I just have to add an action for it. Since I have not selected always apply checkbox, I can add new conditions. We have various attributes available, but we can design an approval workflow based on these attributes. I'm trying to find an attribute for a buyer, which I don't think so I have it. I have an attribute called requester. If I select this attribute, that means if requester is this employee, an action will be sent it to approval. For now, I'm not looking for that. So I found one attribute says inviting procurement view. That means if the request for registering the supplier is for a particular business unit, I want to send it to a particular person. I will select this attribute and it will allow me to select the value, for example, US1 business unit. So if the inviting the procurement business unit is equal to US1, in that case, approval is required. Here we have various kind of hierarchies we can use. 
You can either use the job level hierarchy, position hierarchy, single approver, supervisory hierarchy, and user defined login. Let's say if I use single approval, I'll be able to send it to supplier administrator. That means whoever have supplier administrator role will be able to approve. If I select supplier manager, people with supplier manager role will be able to approve this. A worker, that means I will select a worker here. So for this organization, US Business Unit 1, I have a buyer, Calvin Roth. So I will select that worker. Last name, first name. That means for US Business Unit 1, the approval will be required from Calvin Roth. And Calvin Roth is a buyer. I will save and close. Now let's say for this, once the buyer approves it, it should go to a global supervisor. So I will enable this rule, serial approval rule. I will delete the serial rule available. Create new rule. For any business unit, this is the only person who is going to approve. So I will use the same condition, inviting procurement business unit is not blank. Click OK. And action will be approved by For example, Vice President, maybe. Yeah, Casey Brown, Vice President of Finance. If BU is blank, it will get automatically rejected. Save and close. Once you finish, just deploy. So this is how we set up an internal supplier registration approval. Now once supplier registration request is approved by these two people, the registration will require one more approval from spend authorized workflow. So let's enable the first stage and click edit. Seated rule says rule always applies and the approval will ask who is having a role supplier manager. So if we have a supplier manager role, if someone creates registration request after Kelvin Rose and Casey Brown's approval, supplier manager has to approve this. So now we want to change this. We want to auto approve this. So we'll say automatic action approved. Now system will not ask us to approve again. Click done. Next is supplier registration approval. You are sending a link to supplier so they can register themselves with the buying organization. They will provide certain details and that details will require an approval. Once you approve, system will create a supplier for us. Similar to other two requests, when you open this task for the first time, it will ask you, would you like to implement this or not? When you say yes, it will automatically enable everything for us. We also have two stages here. First responder win, parallel approval and serial approval. Let's disable other approval stages. Now I want to implement serial approval rule. Serial rule says automatically approve, but I don't want that. So I will delete it. Create new rule. Let's say this time we will send it to Supervisory hierarchy for the condition if inviting BU is equal to US1, then approval requires from supervisory hierarchy. We will start with one worker, 
and it will go to certain approvers. For example, Calvin Roth maybe. We will start with Calvin Roth. You can also start with Calvin Roth's manager. And if we select one, that means Calvin Roth's manager has to approve. If I select two, that means manager and manager's manager has to approve. If I have multiple level, I can select accordingly. And the top worker in the hierarchy, we have to stop somewhere, right? So top worker will be, let's say, Casey Brown. And click OK. Now last approver is change request approval. If we have supplier portal enabled and supplier is changing something from their account, if they are changing the profile, we must approve that profile. We must review the, the changes and approve it. So for that, we have supplier profile change approval. For this, let's say we are using first responder win where system sends an automatic approval notification to users who is having supplier administrator rule. So when supplier changes the profile, people with supplier administrator role has to approve it. I can also modify the rule by removing the rule always apply checkbox. For example, if bank detail changes, for example, bank account changes, I want to send for an approval. So for this bank account changes equal to yes, then send it to approval, for example, somebody from finance, send it for an approval to Brown. Okay. Second condition says other changes other than bank changes. For example, business classification changed or if certifying agency changes, maybe address changes, we have included all the DFFs here. This is release 13, release 12 don't have this uh, DFF values. Change request source, if the change is requested by internal, that means someone within the organization is trying to change something if change is requested from supplier. So this is the attribute that I can use. Then it should go for an approval and it should ask an approval who is having supplier administrator role. So this is how we design the change profile approval. Now, in which situation system will ask for this approval? So we go to suppliers and select this task name, configure registration and profile change request. Now here, supply chain profile request, I can provide the option of whether this approval will require or will not require. So for example, if supplier contacts changes and if the supplier is spend authorized supplier then I want an approval required if supplier contact user account changes then I will require an approval if address changes yes it will require an approval bank account changes of course it will require an approval product and services no I don't care text identifiers and site details it will require an approval so these are the supplier profiles if these profiles changes, system will ask for an approval. On supplier registration page, we will see default business relationship for registration sources. That means if sourcing invitation is should it be the prospective or span authorized. So when we select span authorized, 
always when you create a sourcing invitation supplier will mark as a spend authorized then you have to manually change the uh, supplier type to prospect to suppliers if you have sales service procurement investor is authorized to request a supplier then they can either request for a prospective supplier or spend authorized supplier so when you select spend authorized supplier any new request for registering supplier um, consider as a spend authorized supplier prospective suppliers you cannot create a PO for them uh, mainly we create a prospective supplier for uh, sourcing if you want to send a purchase order or if you want to create an agreement uh, we, we must change the suppliers to spend authorized post approval option auto create site assignment for spend authorized suppliers if you select this checkbox when you create a supplier site uh, it will automatically assign all the business units into the site assignment configure procurement business unit setup which is here us business unit and these are the urls for registering suppliers so if you want to register a prospective supplier you can send this url to supplier and they will be able to register themselves you will not be able to send a purchase order or create an agreement once supplier is registered as a prospective supplier if you want a supplier to register themselves as a spend authorized you can send them this link and once supplier is approved you will be able to create a purchase order or agreement for that suppliers thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos